Whew, it is Labor Day. Welcome back to the channel. Muscadine tip video coming your way. <laughs> it is hot. We have been selling grapes for four days. Uh, today's been kind of slow. I thought Labor Day would be busy, but look, there's not a soul out here. I'm out here by myself. Uh, I thought I would throw together a video real quick. Uh, a little tip that popped in my head. But first, I want to show you my grapes. I'll show you my Supreme. I got five different varieties. I've been throwing this at everybody that comes out here so they can uh, try some different variety of grapes. For you guys that are new to my channel, I have five varieties. The first one, one of our favorites, and one of everybody else's favorites that come out here to pick are the Supreme. The Supreme are just now getting to uh, the point where they are just turning. As you can see, we are loaded with Supreme Muscadines. They are absolutely going crazy. Just going crazy. Just a fantastic, big, uh, delicious, uh, firm, real firm uh, flesh on the inside. Just, just a, a stinking excellent grape. People love them. All right, my next grape is the Ison grape. Just an absolute fantastic grape. People love them. It's my favorite grape. Uh, they're coming on super duper strong, and we are load we're just loaded with them. Uh, the sun's on the other side of the vineyard, but look at that one. That's a big one. But they're really juicy. Uh, the, 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 the meat, what I call the meat on the inside, is a real softer, juicier flesh. It's just a good wine uh, jelly grape. I absolutely love the icing. Can't go wrong growing an icing. And these icings help cross-pollinate all these Supreme I have out here. We have tons of Supreme and Black Beauty. So we put these icings out here strategically to help cross-pollinate those. Here's a prime example of what our icings are looking like. They are covered up in grapes. This is a great little area to video for the fact there's no, <laughs> no foliage, no foliage on this side. And uh, it's just, just a great way to show how many grapes we have. But the icing is an excellent grape. I've been picking them actually and starting to freeze them uh, for our wine making later in the year. As you can hear, once our house is built, they're over there banging and they're over there building on our house now. So if y'all hear that in the background. But the icing is awesome. I've been picking like crazy, putting uh, fruit up for the, for the upcoming year to start making wine and jelly and stuff. Next will be our Black Beauty. We have uh, three rows of our Black Beauty and they're a little behind which is fine it helps extend our season they're really doing well though we are <laughs> loaded with them too the grapes are here for you guys that haven't had the chance to come out uh, the grapes are here at kinfolk farm we are loaded with these jokers here's a black beauty they're good grapes uh, they kind of remind me of a supreme uh, but a different flavor they're a little different flavor they're really good grape Good, good, great. Okay. Black Beauty. Good, good, great. Only got three rows of them, and uh, that's enough. I, uh, <laughs> if it was up to me, I, th I talk about this here. This week, I've really been talking about it a lot. If I had it to do over, I would have just planted Icing and Supreme. I would have left off the Black Beauty. I wouldn't have planted the Black Beauty. Uh, everybody seems to want the Icing and Supreme. This is the second year in a row, and, it's, and it hasn't changed, uh, except for these Darlene. These jokers want these Darlene. They love these Darlene grapes. And they're way up. This, the front section in the last four days has been pretty much wiped clean. They are attacking these Darlene. So everything is way up there, but I've just seen some as we walk through. Here's a few right here. They're not covered up. There's a bad one, but they're not really, really covered up. But the Darlene are coming on. And they are super, oh my gosh. They, they're good. They're good. But, the downfall with the Darlene, they don't put on as heavy as a lot of the other grapes, as the icing. The Supreme, they just don't put on as heavy. And that's a downfall for planting the Darlene uh, from a U-Pick standpoint. I've learned this. Uh, this is only our second year with the, with the U-Pick. 
But if, if I had it to do over, I'd do some things different. I wouldn't have planted the Darlene. They're good, great, but they don't produce as heavy. Uh, I wouldn't have planted the Black Beauty. I'm over here huffing and puffing. We've been out in the sun all day. I would have only planted Ison and Supreme for my U pick if I had it to do over for, in a money standpoint. Because when people come out here, the first thing they say are, where are the big ones? And they want the Supreme. And, and then they go, what are these? Or, or I tell them I got a different variety. And I show them the ice, and they always take a bucket of ice. And once they try the ice, they're so sweet, they just have to have them. Uh, but they want some. some <laughs> bigger is better. I think in people's minds, bigger is better. So they, they see the Supreme, they want the Supreme. So when we put in the new vineyard in the corner up here, me and my wife were actually talking about putting in a bunch of different varieties. But then today, we, <laughs> we changed that and said, I think we're only going to put in ice and Supreme because we have a U pick. And if I had to do it over, like I said, that's what I'd plan. Well, the next grape I want to show you guys is the least favorite in the whole U pick where I have yet to sell a gallon. <laughs> I haven't sold a single grape, and I think I have three rows of these Carlos. They're a good grape. They're an excellent, delicious grape, and uh, but they're small. Nobody wants them. They do not want them. They do make an excellent wine grape. I make a lot of wine with these Carlos, and I put up a bunch already. I've been out here with my little radio. I, I find the shady area. As you can see, there's just a little shade. I sit on the other side, or either if I'm picking on this side, I sit on this side, and I just sit on the ground on my butt, and I just slide along and sort of hide in the shade and try to get what I can get without burning up. But the Carlos put on really heavy. I mean, they just go crazy. They're so they're self-fertile, so they help cross-pollinate the Darlene and uh they just load up. I had to grab this. I had to grab this darling, but they just load up with grapes. It's amazing the grapes they put on. But they're just small, and nobody wants small grapes. It's so hot out here. I mean, it's it's been in the 90s every day. We finally getting a break start next week. Thank God. But it's so hot. Everybody that comes out, we got water for everybody if they want water in a cooler, and uh, we try to keep everybody hydrated. Uh, but it, it is brutal out here. It's really, really been a, been a hot week. But we've had an excellent week. We have sold, actually, in this weekend alone, we've almost sold what we sold the whole season last year. So this has been a great week. My gosh. But my tip for today is protecting your grapes. Because I get a lot of comments. What do you do about the deer? Even when people come out, what do you do about the deer? What do you do about the raccoons? What do you do about the possums, the birds? <laughs> And also another tip is going to be what you could do with your grapes now. Don't let your grapes go to waste. This is my first tip. I'm going to do a storage tip. Freeze your grapes. Don't let them rot and fall on the vine. Get out there. It's hot. Sit underneath your vine. <laughs> pick your little grapes and freeze these jokers. Then you can go back and watch my wine making videos and make you some wine. Or make you some jelly. I don't have any jelly making videos, but you can watch somebody else's and learn how to make jelly or wine. But do not let your grapes go to waste. Pick your grapes when they're white, when they're ripe and get them in the freezer. I, we freeze ours in one gallon bags. And uh, that way, when I make my batches of wine, I use one gallon of grapes per batch. One gallon of grapes will make me six bottles of wine. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Six bottles of wine with one gallon of grapes. So freeze your grapes. Look at this joke. When I see a good one, I can't let it go. I can't let it go by. Freeze your grapes. Do not, please don't let them, let them rot on the vine. That's the worst. And at the end of the year, we'll, we'll do another video at the end of the year, what to do with your vines uh, coming towards the end of the season. But it just popped in my head. But do not let your vines go to waste, or your grapes go to waste. Get your grapes and freeze them. Uh, you don't have to wash them or anything. Just put them in a bag, freeze them. Don't let, them go, don't let them go to waste. It just drives me crazy. I even set up a deal today of what I can do with my grapes. I can't wait to talk about it. Uh, I got a, an awesome deal. I pretty much am turning this vineyard over to somebody else. It's going to be, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I don't know if I want to talk about it now or not. But let's talk about protecting your grapes. All right, now that I'm in the shade, we'll talk about protecting your grapes. Um, from birds now one thing i'm fortunate with fortunate with is i have a lot of grapes so whatever little pests are out bothering our grapes we don't see it that much uh, 
But for you guys that got just a few vines, I've heard so many stories this weekend of uh, deer de demolishing my vines, uh, raccoons, possums. When it comes to the birds, you can use bird netting. I've heard that helps a lot, and with the deer and raccoons and everything else. If you just got a little bit of uh, vines to protect, you use bird netting. Um, but with your raccoons and possums, it sounds terrible, but for some folks, for me it don't, I trap them. And we trap a lot. We trap a lot just for the fact I don't want them coming back. I do a lot of trapping that y'all don't see on YouTube. I do a lot of trapping to keep these things beat back. And uh, we don't hardly have any poss uh, possum or raccoon problems for the fact I've trapped so much. So that helps me. As the deer is a big one I hear from people. Now look, I'm at the very furthest row in our vineyard. Normally every video I'm over there because it's closest to my house. I'm at the far side of the vineyard. As you can see, this is the uh, wood line. There's our vineyard. All I'm usually all doing all my videos over there. But this is the wood line. It's 44 acres. It goes way back up there and all the way down to my driveway. It borders my driveway. It goes way up to a dirt. It's just a big rectangle, 44 acres that nobody hunts. Nobody's ever out there. It's a little tree farm. I think they, raise, <laughs> they just grow pine trees. But the deer come out and they will hit this first row. And I just say, eh, not much I can do about it. <laughs> I could put electric wire and I'll, I just don't have time for all that. They really don't, I want to say they don't bother much, but I'm looking at the grapes. I hadn't even been over here this weekend. There's not many grapes over here, so they're probably over here eating my grapes. I can see where they're eating my vines. You can see all the vines. There's no leaves on the vines. See all these little just come with well, this one here, especially these. The vines, the leaves come right back, but they, they love these leaves. You can see where they just nip off all the leaves, and it's all the way down through there. They just walk down through here and just sort of munch on all the leaves. I'm sure they're eating the grapes as well, and I honestly just go, that's a sacrificial row, <laughs> I guess. But when it comes to the deer and the, and the, and the birds and stuff, I would say that... Uh, the biggest solution would be some netting, uh, some bird netting would really help. Seems to me it'd be a pain, but I've never used it. But bird netting would be good, but protect your grapes. I could at least say, find a way to protect your grapes. Don't, don't work them all year long to give them to these thieves, these animals. <laughs> My neighbor has a dove field and he plants soy, uh, all kinds of stuff, corn, sunflower, all, all kinds of stuff. Now he does the electric wire, uh, ribbon wire, I guess it's called. Uh, all the way around his place and he tells me I need to do this but I just don't have the time and and they don't bother me as much uh, as they would him they would he said they would wipe out his sunflowers um, but they don't wipe us out they just hit this last row and especially when the season first gets going when they first start putting on those nice fresh leaves they'll hit this row hard but but anyway uh, what I'm getting at is protect your plants protect your grapes save your grapes put your grapes up you work all year Look at that grape. Oh my God. Mm. You work all year for that. For these couple of weeks that these jokers last, you work so hard watering, fertilizing, pruning, taking care of them. Come out here and go, the deer got them all. Mm -mm, not happening. Hunting season's coming. <laughs> Shoot a few. <laughs> that helps. That helps get you some payback. No, that helps. But anyway just out here piddling around nobody's here so i thought i could make a video real quick talking about protecting our grapes find a way to protect your grapes uh, we honestly here at Kemp Up farm don't do anything we don't do anything uh don't really have that much damage but you small farmers you small growers uh bird netting electric wire i've used the solar uh the solar powered um motions uh, alarms I've used those before they work well I used to have much stacked down this furthest row and they seem to work pretty good and they sell those on Amazon but I would protect my plants and then of course when they put on the grapes don't let them go to waste I've known people to pick enough they go oh, I'm sick of eating grapes so I'm not fooling but to just let them rotten on the ground oh it irks me I, I, I can't wait to finally tell you guys what I've done to keep us from having to do that last year we dumped tons of grapes and it broke my heart. I gave some to the hog farm and all that, but I don't have to do that anymore. I, I, found, I found a way to fix that and I'll tell you guys about it on probably another video, but I'm super stoked about that. But thanks again, guys. Love you guys to death. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Click that subscribe button. 
We've had a lot of YouTubers out. Thank you guys for coming out as, uh, to support us and to hang out with us. We've had a blast. We've had people from Gulfport, Mississippi come out, Mobile, Alabama, uh, just from all over come out and, and hang out in the vineyard with us. Sit out in all these chairs and find some shade and chit chat. It's been a blast. We have had so much fun this weekend. Can't wait to do it again next weekend. So if you guys are watching this, we're in Merriweather County in Woodbury. Come out and pick you some grapes.